what Babylon is or why even Bitcoin and staking these two terms are coming in the same phrase. You know, Bitcoin's been this kind of like gold standard in crypto, um, you know, really good store of value, right? The biggest, biggest, oldest and most secure uh, crypto asset. But I think it, in some ways it has been sitting idle, right? And, you know, for most people kind of, you know, especially before Babylon came on the scene, right? If you have Bitcoin just sitting in your wallet, right? Maybe, maybe for like 10 billion worth, right? Of like the, you know, one trillion, like, market size so like what one percent is in like uh you know wbtc previously right is like wrapped on ethereum and then uses collateral and DeFi, right but for like the other 99 percent it's all just generally sitting idle and i think the uh so babylon's big unlock is you know like they've kind of developed this novel mechanism to provide as native as you can get in terms of staking for bitcoin right so they this is using kind of this timestamping protocol that David had developed from kind of his background in um, in telecom and like 4G, right? And they, they're kind of using that to uh, to have this fairly elegant way to really, you know, as trustlessly as you can stake your Bitcoin and to get some yield from it. And so then, you know, kind of the question Vitalik would ask is like, where does the yield come from, right? So in case of Babylon, the yield, um, especially at maturity, will come from securing other POS chains. And so in, in this sense, in some ways, you know, it is it, it is like it, it is restaking in that sense. Right. So you so other chains are actually using Bitcoin as security. Right. And then kind of paying a security budget to Babylon, which then Babylon turns around and pays stakers in the form of yield.